Hi guys. So this is, I do think, a worth the hype. Like, I really like these products. So first of all, it's the Vitamin E Intense Moisture Cream by The Body Shop, which I have used religiously for years um, as a daytime moisturiser. This is the only, one of the only daytime moisturisers I can use, except Matisse. Um, but I use that for the night time. Um, anything else breaks my skin out, doesn't moisturise, this does. Second is the Garnier Missler Water, or Missila, I don't know how to pronounce it. But my skin's really sensitive and it breaks out really easily, and this has practically cured my acne up. Using it as a primary moisturiser, I have a Bioderm. Um, secondary cleanser type of thing I use. Third is the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette which is, I use this a lot. I really like it. It smells of chocolate and cocoa and the colours are so pigmented for example. See that? There. That's just one swipe. Don't mind me, I'm gross, it's just the only way to go. Um, fourth is the MUA's Cupcake Blusher, which is again really pigmented. It's a gorgeous colour. I also have Lolly and Bon Bon in these. They're just, you know, you don't need much and really pigmented. And my all time really used, as you can tell, Naked Basics. I've had this since I was about 14, 15 and as you can tell I still haven't hit pan and it just lasts. The colours are still good. I've got the um, one on my eyelid, I've got WOS I think it is on my eyelids before my eyeliner because I want to go for a natural look. Also, high beam. I've only got a little thing of this and it has lasted me. I put it on before I put my foundation on and it just gives me a nice little sort of glow because I'm pale as hell and not a lot of highlighters show up on me. Now, I've had struggles with liquid outline in the past. Not being pigmented, not lasting, but this. Collections 24 hour extreme fault tip planner has lasted me quite well. It hasn't dried up like any of them. Max Factor, um, Maybelline, Rimmel, even Stila. No, Stila was for me. Yeah. Um, so yeah. Um, two ninety nine. Best two ninety nine I have bought ever. Now, next. The Soft Matte Lip Cream in Abu Dhabi. Now this moisturises my lips to heaven. It tastes and smells nice. I'm not bothered about taste, but it's always nice. And um, yeah, it was. I got this off eBay. It's genuine, don't worry. Um, but I think it was like four pound fifty, and I love it. It's such a natural, nice nude. And when I get a bit tanned, if I go on holiday, which probably not, because I'm an anemic hell. I'm anemic hell. I mean, not anemic, but I'm just pale as hell. That's what I meant to say. So yeah. Then my Holy Grail product, which is the con collection. I can't speak today. Collection Less Imperfection Ultimate wear concealer in one fair which was actually Zoella inspired me to get this um look for her videos when I first thought I wanted to start beauty blogging. Um it lasts ages I wear this under my eyelid, doesn't crease, um you know when set with powder makes me look not dead, it's great. Freedom brow pomade do you prefer Anastasia Beverly Hills? I use this every day on my brows. I don't see the point in buying the Anastasia one. She fact that like, this works enough for me. You know, it could be like, it could be like, bring unicorns to life the Anastasia one, but you know, if this works well <laughs> for me, for five pound then, I'm gonna use it. Now, Nikki Tutorials did this. Started me off with this, watching her videos. 
This is Nivea Men Sensitive Pro Shave Balm and it is the best primer I have ever used. I have really dry skin. This has witch hair that's still in it. It cleared it up and it makes my makeup last not not just all day. Say if I was to go the day and then out on the night with the same makeup, it literally makes it stay. You get for I think it's five quid from Boots. Um or something. you get 100 ml it's a bit quite a big bottle as you can tell my hands are quite small and then um, it literally lasts like my dad always says why are you nicking mine and it's like it's i actually went and bought my own <laughs> because it's, i'm not sad um right now this is my favorite brow and the g fact of the spoon this is the tartar brown wand and I used it to blend in my eyebrows um, I actually got this I bought a cheap one from China and it turned up and it turned out to be genuine tart yeah. so I'm quite <laughs> lucky in that respect um, now onto my foundation powder I have used this so much you can obviously tell I've got a new one but this is the matte maker matte fine powder by Maybelline and um, I had bad experience with Maybelline, but this, oh my god, it's, it feels like butter on your face. <laughs> um, I'll keep repurchasing this like I have previously. Um, it doesn't give me the orange tinge, and this is the best foundation I've tried so far. Um, Maybelline Better Skin. Um, I'm using the 24 hour at the moment, that's also good, but this just um, cured my, helped cure my acne. and. It's, I've used it up now, which I'm sad. I'm going to have to invest in a new bottle. I use light beige, and that's probably the palest, because, as you can tell, I am like Casper. All my friends call me Casper. <laughs> it's a joke, because uh, I love you guys. Um, so, yeah. Um, I actually got this girl in, I think it is, mascara, when I got my insolence, which I do love. And it is the best mascara I have ever, ever had. I do like MAC Zoom Lash, but I don't know what it is about. I think it's a brush, but it makes my eyelashes just... Um, I do like Estee Lauder's, but I do like this. Now, Lime Crime Velveteens, has, Lime Crime's had a lot of controversy, but for their... Velveteen, so the only liquid lipsticks for me that don't cake up, crack, dry. Um, they're just if I use um, a good lip balm or whatever underneath, these last all day. Don't need to top up, so pigmented, don't even need to use that much. Um, so yeah, um, also, I don't think these get enough recognition. You can tell I've used my makeup revolutions ultra eyeshadow palettes. I have eyes like angels and these are really pigmented they're only eight quid for the whole and if you look at that that's just one swoop like one and they're just I can't express to you how pigmented that's what when I you when I do bright eyes when I'm going out so that is what I use and for eight quid like I'm gonna invest in there ultra matte and a few others because like when i do have the money and because yeah i'll grow it um yeah so i think that's all for now guys um yeah that um <laughs> they are fantastic i do like them um all them products and i will continue buying them especially the mua blusher which is a quid a quid and they have six different colours and they have the peach colour which is lolly this is cupcake and it's just like a really light pink with a little shimmer and I really like it um, obviously the Too Faced palette is quite a splurge usually £38 but it's amazing yeah, you smell like chocolate for the rest of the like day I'm wearing the right chocolate ganache as well and um, it just I can smell chocolate on my eyelids it's weird but so so nice so now that I've done that I'm taking suggestions you know what I have a few ideas of mine like what's in your bag whatever but 
I I don't know. It'd be nice to see what if anyone even watches us. See what um they wanna. Yeah, sorry for the big forehead. I was kind of bottom with that, and <laughs> I can't really get rid of it. I could get my hair put down a bit, but I'd have to go to Bristol. It's heading out of the way. So I'm kind of learning to live with it. Also double chin, but I'm on sim world, so I'm lo hopefully losing that soon. Can't really go like that, can I? Hi guys. Anyway, <laughs> bye.